In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. Evening passed, and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God called the space sky. Evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed-bearing plant, and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the third day. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them mark off the seasons, days and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day, and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water, and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image, to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord God brought all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky to the man to see what he would call them. And the man chose a name for each one. He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild animals. But still there was no helper just right for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib, and he brought her to the man. At last, the man exclaimed, this one is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation.